Hello, and welcome to the Nerdy Photographer Podcast. I am your host, Casey Fadgett. In case this is your first time listening or you haven't tuned in for a while, in addition to bringing you entertaining and informative discussions about photography and the photo industry, I'm also embarking on adventures with the crew of the Starship Fibonacci. I like to call them my hashtag nerdy photo crew. We're currently in the spaceport with our friend and mechanic, Hamdo Bain. Hello, everybody. And we're watching as uh, as one of the patrons of a mm-hmm. local dining establishment <laughs> throws pieces of his meal at passersby. Yeah. <laughs> That is authentic space gibberish. What's he saying, Hamdo? You got me. I'm as stumped as you are. On this episode of our podcast, I talk to my friend and photographer, Sophia Negron, and we play a little game called Real or Bullshit, Wedding Day Edition, where I make her guess whether the crazy wedding stories submitted by wedding photographers and videographers on Reddit are real or not. Ooh. Ooh. This is getting good. Maybe we should get some drinks and see how this plays out. I'm on it. We'll be right back with Real or Bullshit after this short break. Hey, Doc, what's up? Well, I've got good news and I've got bad news. Give me the bad news first. Well, your website is incredibly slow and it's susceptible to being hacked. I had a suspicion that was the case. What do you prescribe? Use SiteGround as your website host. They offer fast, secure hosting for small and medium-sized websites, as well as managed WordPress hosting. Can I pick up SiteGround at my local pharmacy? No. You'll need to go to nerdyphotographer.com slash recommends slash SiteGround to find out more. Thanks. So, what's the good news? You have six months to live. That's... Good news? Better than a week. Well, you've got me there, Doc. Hey, everybody. Casey here. Uh, I just want to take a minute to apologize to Sophia Negron. Uh, Due to some technical difficulties, the first half of this recording with her was corrupted, and I wasn't able to get it back. I thought that I might be able to, but... After taking a lot of time, uh, I wasn't able to wasn't able to revive it. Uh, but I do want to share the second half of our conversation with all of you. I'll get Sophia back to record again soon. In the meantime, enjoy the second half of our real or bullshit wedding stories conversation, already in progress. All right, next story. Okay. My wife, who is my assistant, and I showed up. For some groom and groomsmen getting ready photos. We were starting with them and then going down the road to photograph the girls. So this was the beginning of the day. As we enter the house, one of the groomsmen walks by carrying a giant clear bag of weed. Like a small garbage bag big. He says hi (laughs) and just moves on. My wife and I exchange a look like, well, this is going to be interesting. Then the best man walks in. His left eye is completely red. My wife and I both look at him with our mouths open and say, and he says, well, we partied pretty hard last night and I broke a blood vessel in my eye while I was throwing up. I say, it looks like it it might have been more than one blood vessel. And he says, can you Photoshop it? (laughs) I said, yeah, that's a lot of Photoshop. He shrugs, smiles, and moves on. The guys get dressed, smoke each of them smoking a little bit of weed, and are in every way quite lovely. And after taking pics of the girls getting ready, we move on to a location to take the entire wedding party photos. We get to the location a few minutes after the limo with the wedding party. All the guys are smoking up in the parking lot next to the bus. The groom is taking very small poles off of his joint. My wife starts lugging the gear down the park path and they're about 100 feet away when we hear a police car siren and turn to see it pull up with the lights flashing. Turn around and I get out my camera because, let's face it, there might be something interesting to take pictures of. As we walk up, I see the cop get out of the car and approach the groom, and they hug. Turns out, 
they're family friends and they went to school together their entire lives. I asked if we could get some pictures of the groom in the back seat, <laughs> like he's getting arrested. Uh, the cop says, as long as he's not in the picture, it's fine with him. <laughs> I think that's true. There's just, uh, yeah. yeah, I think that's absolutely a hundred percent true. I think that definitely happened. Um, yeah. Just because the police officer saying, you know, you can't take pictures of me. I've been in, I've yep. photographed enough weddings where there was illicit things going on. Um, <laughs> that the rest of that story makes sense to me. I don't know what you think. Uh, yeah, I totally, I totally agree with that. I think, yeah. I mean, every, I mean, how many people have said to you, you can Photoshop that, right? Yeah. Oh, 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 I've got a tan line. I, I love it. I have a, I had a, I had a, a bridesmaid that got chased by geese and had all these bites on oh, her. Oh man! She had like a bite on her, a couple bites on her back and her arms, and she's like, "You can Photoshop these out, right?" <laughs> like, uh huh. Yeah, I had a. Yeah. I, I used to work at a, a studio for a while doing their albums, um, just to, like designing and like doing all the Photoshop work on the pictures and stuff. And they had a bride who had a tan line, uh, which kind of showed. Like it was like just inside like the straps of her dress, like you and you could see it. Aww. Like it was barely noticeable to me as an outside observer, but apparently she thought it was horrendous, and was just like, "Can you Photoshop this out in all of the photos? Like not just the pictures in the album, like every photo from her wedding?" And I was like, mm, "No, I mean we can, but no." <laughs> <laughs> yes it'll cost x yeah it's gonna cost money you know you realize that there's uh, a whole lot of money involved in doing that that's uh it's not just we don't just do that for free all right so right. now it's time for the lightning round these are short ones i just want to like gonna give it to you tell me whether you think it's real or not okay you ready yep new year's eve wedding Guest punches another guest because he was talking to his wife. Real. Uh, I'm going to say real. Best man gets naked and runs through reception. Real. Mm, that's fake. I made that one up. I had a bridesmaid, <laughs> <laughs> bridesmaid faked passing out during the processional because she was jealous of the attention her sister was getting. See that. I think that possibly happened. Uh, yeah. Best man objected to the marriage mid ceremony and called the bride all sorts of terrible names and then ran out of the church. <laughs> After the door slammed, um, everybody just turned and they finished with the ceremony. Uh, bullshit. Uh, yeah, I think that there would be a little bit more of a reaction if that happened. Uh, bridesmaid yeah. has allergic reaction after eating too much shellfish at cocktail hour. True. False. I made that one up. The groom spent the entire reception after the first dance throwing up on the back patio of the reception hall because he'd been drinking all day. Bride had no idea because she was dancing the entire time. I could see that happening. I think that one's probably true. All right. And last one. A guest, uh, the girlfriend of one of the groomsmen, snuck into the bridal suite and stole all the purses and was caught as she was trying to leave the venue by security and had to face the bride and groom. Nah. I think that that's uh, that you wouldn't take the purses. You'd go through them and take stuff out of them. That that'd be my yeah. guess. I think that, that I, I call BS on that. I call one. BS on that yeah. one too. Hey, photographers, the Nerdy Photographer Podcast wants to hear your stories. That's right. If you have an amazing, crazy, funny, heartwarming, or even tragic or disturbing story you've personally experienced as a photographer, we want to hear about it. Go to nerdyphotographer.com and submit your story or stories. doesn't have to be just one. And we may feature them on the podcast. And if you want, you can tell the story yourself on the podcast. We would love to have you on as a guest. What have you got to lose? Share your photography story with us and see what develops. Hey, 
JF 2.0, why don't you tell the audience what time it is? And now for my favorite part of the show. What's that say? Useless information. Ugh, this is always death. The average American spends two and a half days each year looking for lost shit. (laughs) (laughs) Meaning you spend uh, 60 hours a year looking for lost things on average. 60 hours. Wow. Wow. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> Jeez. That is amazing. I guess it had a, I don't know how they come up with that number, wow. though. I mean, like, <laughs> are you actually like, like, yeah. You'd have to follow everybody around for like, how long, like, how much time do I spend looking for my keys? Like, <laughs> is that just like a. I mean, I guess, yeah, I wonder how they did that test. Did they either like, followed someone or somebody had to write it down yeah write down how many how much time you spent today like looking for things like that and that's it that's intense because you have to like figure out like to get an average i mean you're probably gonna have like a hundred or you know at least a hundred people come up with that like you say yeah. like, keep track of this for a year write down how much time you spent today looking for shit uh, i don't know i think i would probably throw that uh average off because i once borrowed my wife's uh car keys and then it took me eight months to figure out where they were afterwards. Oh my God. Yeah. Because they were in a pair of pants that I did not wear anymore. (laughs) And I found them and I was like, oh, hey. And I looked at them like, oh, here are car keys. (laughs) So I really would have thrown off the average on that one. I spent eight months looking for just those car keys. But did you spend he, eight months looking yeah, for those car keys? Yes, I would spend. I would like. I would devote some time to that because I was like, "Oh man, I need to find those car keys." Like every week, I would spend time looking for those car keys. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it would have really thrown off that that uh, the average on that one. Man, seventy. I find, I find that after I clean. Is when I can't find shit. <laughs> yes, because you put it somewhere, and you're like, wait, I cleaned that up, or where did it go? I can't find that shit. Because I remember seeing it the last time over here. Yes. <laughs> it was underneath this pile of papers on my desk. Right. But then I arranged everything on my desk, and where the hell did I put that? <laughs> yeah, the, the, the organized yep, exactly. organized chaos. Organized chaos. That's a, You remember, like, oh, yeah, I had that. That uh, that USB drive that was underneath, uh, you know, a stack of the uh, post-it notes on the left-hand side of the desk. Now, where did it go? It's got to be something yeah. around here. Yeah. Well, thanks for being on, Sophia. Yeah. We love having you on the Nerdy Photographer Podcast. People can go and check out. Thank you for having me. Healthyphotographer.com and definitely give that some support. Uh, we'd love to have you back sometime soon. Have a great day. Welcome back. Many thanks to Sophia Negron for being on the show. You can find Sophia on Instagram at Sophia Negron. That's S O F I A N E G R O N. You should also subscribe to the podcast. Yes, subscribe and hear more episodes like this one, as well as other episodes about photography and the photo industry. Then you should leave a review afterwards. And if you've subscribed and haven't left a review, what are you waiting for? You can also find us on Instagram and the Twitter at the Nerdy Photo. So go follow us on there as well. <laughs> It appears the uh, space constabulary has arrived to talk to our food-throwing friend. Hey, I meant to tell you. I found some information on that thing you're looking for. Oh, really? An exact location. Tell me more. Yeah, it's out in this nebula on the edge of known space. I can send you the coordinates for a fee. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll discuss your fee. Hey, everybody. Until next time, stay safe. And stay nerdy. So what's the name of this nebula? The Cara BN. Woo!